Today we're going to learn about archaeology and how sites are excavated. Excavation is when archaeologists dig up a site to reveal how people lived in the past. Archaeologists use specific methods to make sure they don't miss any information as they dig. Because once the site is excavated, any missing information is lost forever. So we have to be very careful and precise even when working quickly. Penny and Kara are going to demonstrate first what not to do and then what you should do on an archaeological dig using a chocolate chip cookie activity. So get your cookies ready and join along. I'm looking for, art, for our artifacts, like an archaeologist. Archaeologists do look for artifacts, Penny, but that's not the way that they do it. If you dig like that, you're going to damage your artifacts and lose all important context. What do you mean by context? Well, Penny, context is a word that archaeologists use to describe the relationships between artifacts and where they're located within the site. Without context, we wouldn't know anything about the people that lived in the site. So let's say, for example, this chocolate chip here is a pottery vessel. And this chocolate chip right next to it is a stove. We might be able to say that the people are using that pottery vessel as a part of their food production activities. But now you've destroyed your site. So all you have is a broken piece of pottery like this. Would you be able to tell me anything about the people that lived at your site if this was all that you had? No, I really wouldn't. So what does an archaeologist do, Kara? Great question, Penny. Let's start over and we'll see how to properly excavate a site. So Penny, when an archaeologist begins their excavation, they have something like this with grid paper so they can draw their site and take any notes as they go along. We are going to use this cookie excavation sheet. And so what you are going to do is take your cookie and put it on that top grid there. Then you can make sure you have all the tools that you're going to need for the entire excavation process. So first you need your pencil. Then you're going to want your toothpick, which in an excavation in real life we would use this. This is called a trowel, but we're going to use this toothpick and tweezers and a brush. And so the first thing you're gonna do is draw your cookie on that bottom grid there. The cookie is your entire site. And the chocolate chips are gonna be your artifacts. So you wanna draw them exactly where you see them within the site. That looks great, Penny. And so now we can begin to excavate. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to take your toothpick and you're going to start to dig the dirt around your artifacts, being careful that you don't damage the artifacts in the process. Once you have the artifacts loose from the dirt, you can use your tweezers to pick up the artifact and put it to the side. Now you have a lot of loose dirt here and there may be some small artifacts in the dirt that you don't see when you're excavating. So what archaeologists do is they use this. This is called a screen. And so they sift the dirt to get any artifacts that they might have missed. So when they sift, they pour the dirt over the screen and just shake it around, push the dirt through, and any artifacts that are bigger than the screen are going to be caught on the top. These artifacts are put aside and recorded, and then the dirt can be put aside. So you're going to use your brush and brush the dirt over here. This is called back dirt. Do you know why that might be, Penny? Reclamation, you put the dirt back in? That's a great answer, Penny. 
Um, actually, what archaeologists do is a lot like reclamation that they do in coal mining. You do put the dirt and the rocks back into the excavation site so that the surface looks like it was never disturbed. So the site goes back to the way it was? Actually, Penny, the site can never go back to the way it was exactly. The artifacts have been removed, as well as any bone, charcoal, soil samples. They've all been taken back to the archaeologist's lab to study. So we know about the people that live at the site. If this site was ever excavated again, uh, we wouldn't know anything about the people because the context has been destroyed. That's why it's so important that archaeologists take careful notes throughout the excavation so we don't lose any information about the people who live there. Wow, thanks Kara, I learned a lot about excavation. If I wanted to learn more about archaeology, where would I go? Well Penny, you can go to our Campbell County, Wyoming Government Facebook page. We'll be posting fun activities all through September so you can learn all about archaeology. That's cool.